Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are going to be discussing something unfortunate, I'd say. I was gonna say funny, but I don't know, this really isn't all that funny. It's more just annoying and tiring and obnoxious, any of those adjectives, I'd say. Now, in today's video, we are going to be discussing nostalgia blindness and the exact opposite when it comes to the Ninjago series. It's no secret that there are many people out there that feel as though Ninjago's older seasons are the best and that newer Ninjago is just absolutely terrible. Then again, there are also some people that feel like older Ninjago is terrible, but new Ninjago is vastly superior. And I'm here to say that these two groups of people are correct in feeling that way, because opinions will be had. If you believe that older Ninjago is better than new Ninjago, that's totally fine. That is your opinion. If you feel like newer Ninjago is better than old Ninjago, fantastic. That is your opinion. Where it starts to get annoying is when people act like their opinions on Ninjago are the objective truth. Newer Ninjago is objectively better than older Ninjago. Older Ninjago is objectively better than newer Ninjago. That doesn't make sense, because opinions are opinions, your opinions are not fact. Sorry to say. There is no such thing as an objectively good Ninjago season. There is no such thing as an objectively bad Ninjago season. Every Ninjago season out there is someone's favorite season, and every Ninjago season out there is someone's least favorite season. Ninjago is art, and art is subjective. And again, this is something that the Ninjago community has been dealing with for a long time. I mean, we've had multiple discussions in the past, you know, in terms of which are better, the original designs or the newer designs. What about certain styles of animation? Did older Ninjago do animation better than newer Ninjago? But ever since the start of Dragons Rising, I've unfortunately seen that toxicity from both sides of the argument here. And there is not just one side of this equation that is in the wrong here, both sides are in the wrong. Opinions will be had, but when you start to suggest that your opinions are the genuine truth and the definitive fact, that is when things go overboard and you are no longer having a friendly debate, you are now just being toxic. That's pretty much all there is to it. Like what you like, don't like what you don't like, and don't worry about what someone else likes or doesn't like. Your opinions are opinions, opinions are not fact. So with that being said, you know, that'll wrap it up for my thoughts here. Just wanted to, again, just put my voice out there regarding the constant uh, increase in fighting that I've seen among various Ninjago fans out there. Again, just kind of a mess. Gives me a headache. Um, not sure if this video is going to fix anything. I hope so, but you know, it is what it is, I suppose. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed this one, like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again very, very soon. Peace.